All right, we live. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another lovely, lovely episode of Mass Market. Let's get this uh, set up real quick. Give everybody a few minutes, and we'll be rocking doing some PA on Bitcoin. Kind of seeing where everything's heading. Got some other cryptos I want to talk about too. We got some pretty, pretty good runners today. Even though Bitcoin's sliding, it's gonna be all right. What's up, CP Trading? Good to see you in the chat, my man. I'm sending out the alert. Let everybody know we're live. Thank you for hitting that like button, my dude. What's up, Joey? What's up, Jonathan K? Boy, said this. Just stop it, bro. You came in spell. Redeem Cola. The cola. What's up, my boy? I see you got the notifications hit. Appreciate that. I'll redeem it for you, though, my dude. What's up, OMG? My bad. Got the robot voice going. What's up, Robert Dean? How you doing, man? Had a little technical, technical malfunction when I stepped through the gate. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, it's that damn voice mods, bro. Gets me every freaking time. But how's everybody freaking doing tonight? I know we got Bitcoin kind of taking a little bit of a dump to some levels that we talked about the other night, which is not good, but we'll be doing some TA busting out on the charts kind of seeing where we think we might be heading uh you know heading into this weekend uh it's not looking the best right now we're still in a bit of a downtrend um you know making lower highs and lower lows so trying to have a little double bottom formation right here at 55985 but we are still um you know in that downward trend we've been doing those uh double bottoms Usually about this time, almost a triple bottom right here, but these are a little bit lower, so we won't count this over here. So we're still in this little downtrend right here where we could possibly slide some more. So we're going to be breaking down some TA, going over some support resistance, and um, all that good stuff, man. Give everybody a few minutes to roll in. Three's Company says I smashed it. Thank you, Three's Company. Good to see you in the chat once again, my man. Always a pleasure. So guys, if y'all could, make sure to smash that like button for your boy. It greatly helps with the algorithm. You already know the deal. Y'all already know the deal. We're gonna get break. Uh, we're gonna break out here in a few seconds. Get everybody in here, and then we're off to the races. We'll go over some TA. 
Uh, see a red, man. XLM up 2%, though. Looking good. Other than that, all the cryptos on the chart are actually red. XRP is extremely red. 102. Um, oof. Got a super chat coming in. Yeah, what we got? AC2. 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 That's my dude. That's my dude. That's my guy. Thank you, thank you, HC2, for making this little kid dance on my screen with that beautiful 499. Lovely super chat, my man. Thank you, thank you very much. What's up, Flaming? Fleming, sorry. Last dip before the rip, man. That's it. We're just trying to find out where it ends, where it bleeds off, and hopefully it's coming soon, man. Uh, and I'm gauging a lot of the market right now, not off of Bitcoin, off of XRP kind of. I know people, a lot of people are like, wait, what? But it's true, man. XRP goes from $1 to 130 Every time we hit 130 I think this was like the fourth time this freaking happened, the market crashes out. You have the, like this little flash crash mixed with some selling off. And XRP is kind of gauging the market, in my opinion. That's how I'm watching it. So we could go a little bit lower. Um, you know, we might start seeing it $0.98. Cents. So I'm expecting a pretty red day. Uh possibly into tomorrow we're not really seeing uh anything coming out that's really uh you know any big buys besides metaverse stocks and metaverse cryptos right now um those are the ones that are really popping we had sandbox let's see where sandbox ended up at what's up bulldog good to see you man so let me pull up sandbox crypto real quick See where we ended up with Sandbox on the day. So guys, Sandbox smashing it. Uh, you know, up almost 10% today. Uh, $4.18. But man, it's been making some really, really decent gains over the past couple days. You know, hitting that 459, 460 range. And it doesn't look like it's uh done yet. Yeah, we're having a little bit of pullback right here. Let me pull this chart up over here. Get this popped up for y'all. So we are having a little bit of uh, pullback right here, but not quite touching that low right here. Uh, this could be a pretty decent entry point if we uphold this trend right now. As of right now, market cap is uh, up 8.54% on the day. The trading volume uh, up 60%. Definitely volume coming in. That's what you want when you're looking for a crypto to possibly ride on an uptrend. You, you want the volume stepping into it. Uh, sandbox definitely definitely a good play in my opinion still uh, I think you're still super early to the game so man this market never listen <laughs> never miss a live hey man same here my brother much love hey lens Oh, is Fleming from uh, Bulldog? Yeah, I got to uh, put that dark screen on. All right, so what we got today? Bitcoin 55,872. Let's kind of take a little zoom out right here and see what's going on. So on the four hour chart. What we got? Where are we sitting at right here? Kind of the top right here. You got a little support right here, but you have lots and lots of support around 53. So we possibly going to see, uh, I don't, th I don't see nothing stopping it from potentially heading to 53, 54 and a half. Uh, we'll probably, uh, bottom out somewhere around 53, 53, nine to 54. And I think hopefully that will be the bounce that we're looking for right there. The reversal that is going to kind of pull us out the mud right here to lead us up a little bit higher. Um, you know, I know it's a little depressing. We still got the plan B predictions that a lot of people were uh, super bullish on that are going to, uh, you know, expire in about a week and a half, two weeks. And we got Thanksgiving break coming next week. Um, let's hope it's good for us. Let's hope Thanksgiving week is good. Uh, usually around the holidays, you know, there's not too much volume stepping uh, across the markets sometimes. Uh, a lot of people spending time with family. So that would leave a very short period, in my opinion, uh, for us to really, really start moving uh, toward that 100K, you know, almost uh, $45,000.
uh, to move to that level, which Plan B is predicting, and a lot of people are holding weight to that, uh, myself included. Um, you know, they've always been pretty spot on with their predictions, and, uh, you know, I was very hype on it. Still, it's possible, but uh, we need to get out of this downtrend right now. We're just, we can't seem to pop back out. We kind of hit this double bottom formation right here, fell out. Kind of had another double bottom formation right here. Fell out once again. So if we're seeing another little double bottom formation again tonight, let me see. Get back to the five minute chart. So we'll see what happens tonight. Uh, I'm thinking 53, 54,000 is going to be that point where we start to really reverse and get a lot of buying pressure stepping back in. Uh, you know, we talked about that 57 level and we tried to hold it, but we just couldn't right here. We fell out again and lots of uh, selling pressure stepping in right now. So I need Doge to a dollar. Can you make that happen? I'm trying. I've been buying along the ways, trying to uh, up my position for y'all. I bought SNL, trying to get it to a dollar then. Um, so far, un unsuccessful, but eventually we'll get it. Eventually we'll get it. Let me see. I got a link to the Discord right here. What's up, Mr. Rick? Slick Rick in the house. What's going on, man? Is the full moon eclipse starting? <laughs> What's up, Wynn? Good to see you, man. Sometimes when everyone gets together for the holidays, uh, they tell one another about the crypto gains and people get in and we fly. It happened before. Uh, Doge going to a dollar. Hey, I agree, Bulldog, because I will definitely be preaching the crypto to all the family for Thanksgiving, man. Which I can't wait. Uh, Thanksgiving is actually one of my favorite holidays, man. Nothing but good food, uh, family, uh, that, and it gives you a chance to put up the Christmas tree. So I'm looking forward to doing that with the kids. What's up, Benny? Benny boy. What's up, Adrian? Man is jumping. That's a good sign. I think the market is down because of the changes. Uh, yeah, it, that's the importance of being diverse over here. Um, you know, with Bitcoin, I mean, look at the sea of red on the screen. Ethereum just slightly turning green off the day, hopping above 4,000 here, you know, but getting rejected. Um, important to stay diversified. What well, we had, Crow hit all-time highs in between now, uh, now and the last live stream. So let's check it out. Let's pull up some Crow. Um, uh, HC2. HC2. That dude is coming in hot. With a 49.99. Super chat, my man. Super chat, my man. Hey, HC2, much love, brother. You know you always uh, appreciate it over here, man. And uh, I greatly appreciate your support, man. Really do. Always appreciate it, my man. Uh, let's check out some Crow Coin real quick. See where that ended up today. And, you know, uh, I always watch those that crypto... Uh, that crow.com coin because you know people buying up the coin going into the platform to disperse the money elsewhere so it hit a high and then it came back down it's down 14.45 percent on a day um where do we hit today uh 59 cents was that the all-time high uh looking like it right there so yeah a lot of money stepping into crypto.com uh, and um man uh, money going elsewhere. We got mana. Let's see where mana's up today. <coughs> mana up a whopping 23.10% today. It's in that $4.16. So uh, the gaming crypto is definitely, definitely doing good stuff right here. Just got updated. $4.23, up 25% on the day. And mana does not look like it's stopping either. It is just on a rampage. And I think it's going to... Um, I think it'll continue, man. I think the metaverse, uh, especially with Bitcoin down the way it is. So that tells me right there, people are pouring into, you know, Crow and then diversing their money out throughout the, all these plays right here. That's kind of what I think is going on. And, uh, you know, there will be a point to where, you know, the whales made their profits off of Bitcoin, selling at 60, in, within the 60s range, you know, and uh, pretty much selling out 
probably most of their portfolio, dropping it out, running up some other plays. They'll make money off of that. Then they'll step back into their original plays and possibly start pumping everything up. I mean, it's a sea of red right now. We got Matic at 148. XRP is at 102. And, um, you know, I've kind of been gauging the freaking market off of XRP for the guys that just kind of walked in here. I said that in, in the beginning. Uh, usually when XRP hits that 130 range, it just gets knocked back down and the whole market takes a dump. Um, and it kind of picks back up around that, you know, 90, 95 cent to 130 range, you know. That's kind of what I've been gauging it on and we're getting pretty close. So I do think the dip is getting close to the end um, for, for all y'all that are worried about it. You know, uh, it's hard to predict where we actually will end up. I'm thinking 53 would be uh, the strong bounce point for Bitcoin. And then, uh, you know, start taking all the altcoins back up to uh, some pretty good gains. I mean, because right now, Doge 2182, uh, Solana 190, one freaking 90 on Solana. We got Ethereum under 4,000, Litecoin back to 200 bucks, uh, right back to where it started before the Visa pump. Uh, you know, they, they announced a partnership with Visa to where, you know, anywhere uh they accept visa you can use your litecoin you know uh avax was hitting 107 108 back to 96 so the whole market is being gauged uh you know bitcoin is a big part of it and uh no coins too uh but they tend to follow bitcoin so we got to cover it got to keep up with what's going on with it let me catch back up with the chat just saw matt damon commercial on youtube for crypto.com i didn't see it man i'm gonna have to uh, definitely have to check that out what's up andre um, as you all know, crypto.com, um, got the partnership with, uh, the Lakers arena. That's going to be pretty good. Uh, lots of sponsorships for crypto.com coming out of there. Crypto.com. Uh, so they're changing the Staples Center name to Crypto.com Arena. <laughs> Not too many people are happy about that, but it's all good. It's all good. What's up, Mr. Alex? How you doing, man? Yeah, that's going to be, uh, you know, definitely a uh, lot more adoption with that uh, Crypto.com Arena. I think it'll help. You know, I really do. Um up omg ethereum what's up link past ethereum meta did two million percent gains ethereum meta ah it looks like a rug pool man I don't know. I'm too skeptical to play it, man. I won't be touching it, to be honest with you. Boy, Link Pass, boy. He's always coming in with these little cryptos that run just crazy, man. Crypto.com makes you stake crow to get your credit card. Hey. Who knows? Hey, do you have one? I was thinking about maybe getting one. HC says I don't need their credit card. Uh, hey, thank you, Alex, man. Always much appreciated, man. You know you're always welcome, man. GYE and got rejected after a hell of a pump. I was so mad last night, OMG, and I wasn't live to tell y'all about it. Dude. Let me pull it up, see where it's at today. I didn't look at it today. G-Y-E-N. Yes. Hit three cents. Wow. Yeah. I could have got at one point. From when I looked at it last night, I could have made 50% on that thing. And it's falling pretty good. It fell 50% uh, today, sitting right underneath one cent. So, yeah, I saw it. And I should have played it. But, you know, you live and you learn. We'll find some more. Yeah, XLM is actually uh, the only one on the screen right here that's green because uh, uh, Weeble doesn't have mana and uh, Sandbox, a couple other cryptos I'm looking at. I want to check out PBR. We'll talk about Polkadot. 
Uh, a couple of other cryptos tonight that I'm looking at pretty hard right now. Benny says, well, I mean, it was Staples Center, just another ad name. Yeah, man, I know. Uh, Staples Center was, like, iconic, kind of like when Oakland went to uh, Los Angeles. So, you know, I was, you know, it's the Staples Center, man. And But I do like the Crypto.com arena. You know, it's going to take some getting used to, but once it's there, it'll be there. Nothing to worry about. Alex, my dude. Alex, my dude. That dude's coming in. Show us some mad love. Thank you, Alex, man, for being a channel member. It's always supporting the stream. You and HC2, man, everybody. I appreciate y'all very much, man. Thank you for that $10 super sticker, my man. What's up, fireman? We've got the fireman in the house. What's up, Mr. Turbo? Robert Dean from Cali, he knows. It's the Staples Center, man. But I can live with crypto.com. If it had to change anything from Staples Center, it, crypto, I'm, I'm all for it. All for it, man. All right. Let me uh, zoom in the chart. If I'm going to sit here with the chat for a little bit, we'll watch Bitcoin. Currently sitting at 55717. Only have one credit card and owes me four cents. <laughs> Whoa. Better get that money, boy. Uh, Jonathan K says, got the email for Voyager card. 9% if you keep that $100 in USDT. Well, you better keep that $100. Better leave it in there. Yes, my boy Alex is absolutely smashing the screen. HC. That's my dude. And that's my guy. Thank you very, very, very much for that twenty dollar. Make you holla, super chat, my man. Thank you very much for that love, my dude. What's up, Chris? Changing changing the name sucks, but I'll take the name change for a fifty percent jump. Yeah, my tendies go up. I ain't gonna worry about it, man. I'm gonna just keep rocking with it. Thank you very much, Chris, for tuning in tonight, my dude. Let me change something off the settings real quick. Customization. Uh, subscriber only mode. Dropping this in here. Now we rocking with the fam tonight. Hey, thank you, HC2, man. Nothing but love, my dude. I never knew what it was called before, but uh, no big deal to me. Yeah, Staples Center, man. I used to keep up with basketball a lot, but now I do crypto, so I don't have time for football uh, as much and basketball. So, but check out Jasmine and Gala. OMG. What's Gala doing? Don't tell me it ripped today because I didn't watch Gala at all. Gala is up 7.74% on the day. Uh, having a nice little comeback from this little dip. Uh, it kind of followed on the 18th. It followed Bitcoin a little bit. So uh, working its way back up. I like it. Uh, it's growing on me. 23 cents. Let me see. One month. I don't know. The way it's forming these tops. Uh, I don't. I don't have dark mode on. Hold on. Does uh, Coin Market Cap have dark mode? I don't want to like blind y'all. Hold on. Let me see if they got dark mode on this thing. Boom, baby. We got dark mode engaged. Nope, it didn't stick. Oh, well. So Gala uh, continue going up, but the way that it's forming these these three tops, I want to show you all. Oh, well, it's going to blind you all for a little bit. 
if we start breaking this top right here, I'll be more bullish on it. I think it might end up getting rejected, and then I might look to buy in somewhere around uh, 22, 22 to 20. So we'll keep watching it, see what happens with it. We'll keep watching it. And Jasmine, let's check out some Jasmine for OMG. That's uh, Mr. Rick's play. That dude uh, called that stuff, man. I wish I was still holding my Jasmine coin, but I paper hands it. Uh, back to 16 cents. So it's not too bad. Not too bad. I missed that major run up on it. Um, you know, I missed the rip to freaking uh, 32 cents by paper hands but it's not too far off from where I sold it. But it's up 15.93% today. I think Jasmine's a very good long term hold, guys. And, um, you know, especially with the way it's, uh, you know, acting with the rest of the market down. I'm all for it right here, man. I'm all for some good Jasmine coin right here. So, all right. So, Gala and Jasmine are two I'm going to be looking to uh, probably reinvest in. So, I'll keep y'all updated in the Discord and uh, let y'all know what's going on. Diamond hands right now for me. Hey, Jonathan K all day. You already know, man. I feel big pump coming, says HC2. I think so too, man. Uh, I just think it has a little bit more to go before we actually rebound. You know, we talked the other night. I didn't stream last night, but the night before that, we, we possibly talked about that 57 to 56. Um, you know, I didn't I didn't expect 55, that low right here, 55, 6, where we just hit uh, a couple minutes ago. So now, I'm, I'm, you know, my mindset is going a little bit more bearish. And, you know, if we bounce here, great. But I'm, I'm thinking 53. And I'm, I'm kind of gauging it off of XRP. Um, I mean, XRP, every time it hits that 98, 97 cents, it runs back to 130. It breaks 130 and the whole market crashes out. Third time in a row it did it. So, uh, I mean, you could have made great, freaking awesome gains off of XRP just trading it between 98 and 130 all day, every day. So, I'm gonna play that. I'm gonna play that out too as well. I'm gonna load the boat off of XRP, and if it hits 130 and I see it get rejected, I'm probably gonna look to uh, offload that swing trade. I'm gonna hold my original position, but I'm gonna uh, start swing trading some XRP too. Play in the Discord as well. I need to make a room also too. Uh, anytime that I'm gonna pick up some cryptos, uh, and you guys are more than welcome to join in too. If you're buying something, hey, drop it in there. I bought this today, and this, you know, drop a little piece of information why you think this is a good play. And we'll do it together, man. It's a community. That's that's the beautiful part of all this. So, what's up, Arthur G? Man, a TA, please. Sure thing, Arthur G. Welcome to the stream, my man. Appreciate you hitting that subscribe button. Everybody, give a big welcome a big to Mr. Welcome. Arthur G. Mr. Arthur. In the house. In the house. All right, mana TA. Uh, man, it's hopefully you got in early. You know, we were picking up mana and sandbox in the two range. As of right now, dude, you are, you know, you're smashing all time highs. It's, it's, it's tough to gauge it. Uh, will it keep going this cycle? I think so. I think it has some gas left in the tank. Um, you might start seeing mana around that six, seven dollar range here shortly. Especially the way the metaverse just keeps pumping, man. But as of right now, uh, if you're looking for an entry point, you know, you might start seeing that 370 range to 350. That, that'd that be my entry point if I'm looking to hop back into this thing. But, I mean, it's ripping the all-time highs right now. I mean, there's not much to really uh, put some technical analysis on. You do have support at 4 bucks. it looks like, 410. Uh, I think you see a bounce at 4 See if you hold it. If not... I'd look for that 375 to about the 350 range to look to hop in. I do think you'll find strong support there as well. But uh, as of right now, you are sitting at some pretty high tops off this thing, the highest of the high. So just be extremely careful if you're looking for an entry for the first time, my man. But long term, um, you know, around four bucks. I think it's a great entry, my man. What's up, Quesadilla? Yes, everything keeps going down. It'll be all right, though, my man. What goes up comes down. We've been through these dips uh, through this channel before, and it always comes back to new all-time high. And I think, uh, you know, when Bitcoin starts ripping again, some of them coins that didn't move last time are going to re really start moving. All right. Um, 
Zuki Inu is at bottom floor to get in, not financial advice. Should have FOMO. I should have FOMO'd in the gala too. And the GYEN. I should have FOMO'd into that. Uh, I saw it last night. I was actually talking to Bulldog in his, in his Discord, man. And I, I just started cursing. I'm like, you know, uh, I saw it. And I was like, man, OMG told me about it. And I was, I was supposed to pick me up some. I really was. And it didn't happen. All right, let me catch back up with the chat. 15 likes. Hey, thank y'all, man. If y'all could smash that like button for you, boy. Everything over here, 100% free for free, free. Just ask that you uh, gently tap that like button for us. Thought Gallo was Spike. Uh, when it is going up, but uh, kept going. UGG. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking to get into Gala and back into Jasmine coin uh, as soon, man. Uh, and like I said, I'm opening up another Discord room to uh, post the plays that I'm hopping in throughout the day. That way, uh, keep everybody up to date. And then, you know, y'all are more than welcome. Like, I really hope uh, y'all actually step into it, too, because it takes a community. Uh, you know, a few people telling me to look at PBR. One Shot GT, he's uh, big on PBR. I've been looking into it. It got listed on KuCoin, KuCoin, two, uh, KuCoin, uh, KuCoin two days ago, and it's been pumping. Uh, where's PBR at? Let's check this out real quick. Uh, this is something I have on my radar right now, and I want to tell you all about because I do think it uh, has some more gas in the tank. Uh, Poker Bridge price. Uh, it is two dollars twenty nine cents. It might be a good buying opportunity uh, coming shortly. I would hold off right now. It's sitting at $2.29. It is down to a whopping 21.53% on the day. So my entry point for this thing is probably looking toward that uh, $2 flat range, 204. Uh, even though it might bounce here, you know, sometimes you can get left behind by being cheap. I'm going to watch it closely. Um, I think it still has a little bit more room to go down. It actually just popped back up, 231. So I'm going to be watching this thing extremely extremely closely so we'll see where it goes i got a stupid chat coming in who is that who is that degrade degrade thank you degrade don't be coming in here super chat me you know i love you bro 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 thank you very much though for that ten dollar make you holla super chat uh read the sentence but replace the english with math i like english debate Read what sentence? Did you, did I miss your comment? I don't know, man. I'm trying to figure it out in my head. I'm, I'm a little lost, man. But thank you, D-Grade. Appreciate you coming out, showing that support, man. Uh, Just took some profits off of Mana and Sand. Only thing that's going up right now, Quesadilla, I don't blame you. I was second guessing myself like, hey, man, you know, man, I'm in sandbox, like I, I hit it pretty good. And in a large part uh, due to y'all, too, you know, um, I probably wouldn't have pulled the trigger on the metaverse stocks without a couple guys in our community, you know, really, really pushing it, saying like, man, look at these gaming cryptos, look at these gaming cryptos, and they exploded. Uh, you know, I'm sitting nice off of both of them. So uh, it might. It's never a bad thing to take tennies, man. Uh, I feel you, Quesadilla. Uh Wasn't it you that sold you Ethereum at forty eight the other day too? If it was, let me know in the chat, man. If it was, uh... Matt, what do uh, have a? Are you actually for like a meet and greet? Yeah, HC. Uh, let me know where you're from, man. I'd be down. I got. Uh... One shot has a little thing going on not too far from my house in December, so I'm actually going to be heading down there. I'm going to post it in the Discord if any, any of y'all are free. Yeah, I'm all for it, HC2. All for it, my man. 100%, dude. And if you want to make it happen, just get with me in uh, Discord. Just shoot me a message. We'll make something happen. What's up, Ben Collins? How you doing, man? <laughs> ben says I'm poor. Crypto took all my damn money. Hey, if you ever look at those, uh, the picture of Floyd Mayweather with the table with the money in front of him, front of him it's like yesterday his table's full and then like today it's empty and then the next day it's, it's full again. That is crypto to a T, man. That's what it's doing. 
Thank you, Robert Dean. Oh, Pearl just loaded up on H bar, dude. It's at 35 cents. That's another one I do need to get on. And why prices is on cheap, why everything's on sale. This is the time to be buying up the markets, guys. Uh, I'm not in full panic mode that everything's just going to completely fall out. You know, every time a little FUD comes out, it's just always the same shit. Crypto's done. Get out. You're going to lose all your money. And then it rips to new all-time highs. So um, I'm holding tight, man. It's just giving you good buying opportunities across the board. Uh, I mean, they got some really cheap prices out there. Uh, definitely load the boat, man, because the whales know it too. They'll, they'll run the prices right back up. And if you're not in, you're going to miss out. FOMO in and miss out on some good tendies. Uh, last night, my exchange was glitching and wouldn't let me buy NUM. And now I'm... Ooh, what did it do, my man? What did it do to you? I got to see what it did to you. Number protocol. Uh, it is actually down 8.97%. So that might not be the worst thing in the world, my man. It is down. Let me uh, refresh this, make sure that is correct information I'm giving you. Because sometimes coin market caps not refresh right when you click on the crypto. Just make sure you uh, you check that. But no, it is down 8.39% today. That might not be the worst thing in the world, man. Oh my god. Yeah, I just read the comment at the bottom. Yeah, you got me. <laughs> you got me, man. That was a good one, D Gray. That was a good one. Uh if I buy mana on uh Bitru, can I send it to my cold storage wallet? You should be able to, man. Yes, uh, Rick, AVAX survived uh, extremely well. Uh, Bitcoin looking to have a one, nice little one minute candle right here. Let's see what happens. That 14 is starting to hook. That RSI is heating up right here. Uh, is at 60. You're starting to get some volume stepping in. Let's see if uh, we can start chipping away at some of that 1.66% loss on the day right here. But yeah, AVAX held up extremely well. I was surprised to see. Uh, let's do up AVAX real quick. I was surprised to see Avalanche uh, pump as hard as it did the other day when everything else was down. It hit, uh, what was the top of it? Uh, 110. Wow, I didn't see 110. I saw 108. I was at work. That uh, in itself, man, uh, 55 bucks. And I'm going to tell you this. I don't think Avalanche is done. The, uh, it has great, great potential. All the people that pump Solana from that $50 range all the way to, you know, almost 300 bucks. Those are the same people back in Avalanche right now. And I think Avalanche has a lot more room to explode on the market. And I think it's going to head to that $150, $200 range. I think, uh, you know, some some point in December, you can be looking at $150, $200 uh, AVAX. Uh, just with the team it has behind it, uh, the NFT plays on it, very cheap transaction fees. Uh, definitely AVAX. Uh, you know, we were talking about pullbacks on AVAX a couple weeks ago at 55 when one shot brought it to our attention. Like, hey, man, y'all might want to pick up some AVAX. And, you know, we made 100% gains off of that. So I don't think it's done this yet. I, th I still think that has a lot, a lot of room to grow. Uh, it looks better than the other cryptos. Uh, I don't even think you might not even get a double bottom right here. You might start climbing back up to that 100 range. Uh, you have that 50 exponential, which is currently sitting at 99 right there. So that's going to give you some trouble. That, that'll probably be the next stopping point off this little run you're having right here off these four, uh, five minute that last 20 minutes right here. So uh, AVAX crypto. I'm bullish on it, man. I am super bullish on it. It's, uh, you know, having these little double bottoms almost uh, right here would be a touch point and then right here. And it didn't completely fall out like Bitcoin's been doing. Like, let me throw up the Bitcoin chart back up. You know, Bitcoin has like a, a bottom here, bottom here, a little double bottom, and then you fall out. So you still have some selling pressure. Uh, you know, good to see it back above 56 right here, but very tight margins to keep it above it. I think it's going to struggle and continue to go down. Uh, until you start getting a big pump over this 50 and start uh, getting back in that 57 range, I don't see it happening tonight. We might, you know, we might drop a little bit more. We get the MACD starting to flip right here. It is starting to climb a little bit, but I do think that rejection is going to uh, hold true on that 50 exponential right here. Deep F in value, HC2 knows.
yes, that that uh D grade super chat definitely messed my head up. Was up a thousand percent from when I was gonna buy it. Uh two. I last checked. Oh, you saw a little bit at 47. I got you. Well, hey, man, you did a pretty good play right there. Uh, Ethereum's starting to pump right here. 4024 bucks. Uh, Shiba actually turning green for the day. Shiba and Doge taking some beatings, man. Uh, 2192 off Doge. 4271 off of Shiba. Uh, Litecoin was just sitting at 200. So the market's turning a little green, but looking for possible rejections coming up here shortly. Uh, I'm still in a bearish mindset for the short term. Very short term. I still think it has a little bit bleeding. More left to do. Uh, somewhere around 54 possibly 53 and a half i do think we will get that bounce and start heading back up but um you know we'll see what the whales do we'll see who shows up for the party um hey what's up adam e good to see you man john take was that uh let me see omg i probably did not let me see i probably missed it I did not OMG. Oh, did you send it to me? Because I'm not seeing a comment. Robert says 22 likes. Let's so smash it to 30. Yeah, guys, we got 31 people in here. You could just smash that like button for your boy, man. We greatly, greatly appreciate it. Um, and if y'all can, man, hit that subscribe button for us, man. Join the family. We'd love to have you join up. We also got a link to 100% free Discord. Check that out too as well. I'll be posting that here periodically throughout the stream. Okay, cool. OMG just created the channel in the Discord called uh, Crypto Buy and Sell. So cool. We can post all our little plays right there, whatever you're buying up in the market. Uh, yeah, I like it. Thank you, OMG. Greatly, greatly appreciate it. I really do. So, as of right now, not much action going on in the market. I did have a little news article I wanted to bust out here. Let's go over to it. So, Bitcoin prices reaches lowest since uh, mid-October. Suffering this decline at a time when technical indicators are showing that the uh, digital currency could be heading for further losses. The world's most prominent cryptocurrency dropped to a, as little as 56.680 today on Coindesk data. At this point, it had lost 18% from its high of 69,000 earlier this month. Further was trading at the least since October 13th, ever since Pumptober. So, you know, pretty much erasing all the gains from, you know, mid October to where we're sitting now. Um, Following this downward movement, the digital asset recovered, uh, having a face value of close to 58,000 at the time of this writing, which it did have a pretty de decent uh, pump up today. Let me see where we hit. I think it hit right at 58 today. Get back to the five minute. Let me zoom this out. No, it wasn't today, that was yesterday. Um, I personally don't believe it's very positive for the, for the price of Bitcoin. He stated that the uh, Bitcoin falls below a certain support level. It could be heading for significant losses. 55,050 are very sensitive support levels right now. So he's kind of looking at this 55 range as major, major, major support. And then 50 after that. I'm kind of seeing 53. He's looking at 50. Uh, 50, in my opinion, yes, would be stronger support but i'm seeing some pretty good lines line up around at 53 so i'm holding true to what i'm what i saw earlier when i did my ta by myself i'm thinking 53 is going to be that level uh where we start to bounce at and he goes on to further state i believe namely that if the price of bitcoin um where is it if it falls past 50,000, that would indicate negative uh, attributes for Bitcoin price, meaning it could serve as an early signal that Bitcoin is heading for a bear market. So that's kind of Forbes uh, 
guy named Charles uh, Boulevard. I read a couple of his articles. So he's a little bit more bear. He's thinking bear market type scenario if we drop below 50K here. Um, will we go that low? I mean, you have to seriously look at it. Uh, we came from uh, 69,000 to where we're sitting at 55,950. It's possible, 100% possible, but I don't know. I don't know. I think we get the bounce at 53. I hope we get the bounce here and start rocking, but it, we're still in a downtrend, man. We're not bouncing out yet and seeing that breakout level where we start breaking some previous tops. So. I read that in the end, Bitcoin will run on the Flare network when XRP takes over. <coughs> yeah, I heard talks about that too. I never really looked into it. Um, never really looked that into it. So guys, y'all gotta let me know in the chat if y'all are, you know, do you agree? Do you think uh, Bitcoin possibly has some more to dip? Or do you think we're sitting at a pretty good level of support at 55,000? Which we are, we are. Don't get me wrong. Fifty-five is a really good, strong support for it. Uh, Fifty-three, and then at fifty, uh, you know, I told y'all the other night. You know, fifty-seven, I'd really start to get nervous, get a little nervous. But I'm still holding true to my uh, conviction. I'll buy the dips, man, and I'll be sitting tight. D grade, if uh, that messed you up, I better not see it. <laughs> it's all good, man. Nothing but love, degrade. Thank you for tuning in, man. Adam E says, we'll get through it and rebound 100%, man. You already know. Adam E, you're the most positive dude I know. Love it, man. I just create. Okay, let me see. What's up, one shot? Redeeming that Bitcoin. Creeping in here. What's good, my man? Hopefully you're making those tendies out there off of Mana and Sandbox with us, man. Good to see you, my dude. Robert Dean says, if OMG created a new channel in that Discord, has the best plays uh, on stock and cryptocurrency, maximize your profits and minimize losses, make sure to check it out. Dropping that link. Quesadilla says, I mainly don't mess with uh, leverage coins or margin at all. Yes, uh, me either, man. I try to stay away. But I've been buying some uh, bull this dip. I try to stay away from them, man. Um, I just don't mess with them. Uh, margin, dude. Margin's a whole nother story. Because that that's what really kicked off whenever we uh, started seeing these, uh, these big drops, man. Off these dailies and off the four hour. You know, you had some big sell-offs. And, you know, people start getting margin called, man. Uh, after that high of 69, you know, it fell to 64, a low of 63 right here. That was margin call city, man. People were losing their accounts, uh, you know, in instantly, you know. So that's why it's very, very um, important. I try to steer people away from trading on margin um, when trading in cryptocurrency. Just because the volatile price movement, it can go one way or another. But then again, you you know, it's all a risk. You run the risk of it going up and um, missing out on a lot of attendees or going down and, you know, getting your account liquidated. So just be careful out there. Uh, stock world today. Uh, so cryptos as securities, subjecting them to oversold, oversight by security SEC. It would create a broad definition of digital assets as commodities tasking the community futures trading commission with supervision yeah i don't like it but it's probably heading that way i'm gonna have to read that when i get off man 58 page measure includes uh provisions to categorize some cryptos as securities yeah that's probably not helping Definitely not helping. Doing great, uh, that's Adam. It's hard not to focus on your face instead of the rest of the stream. Well, thank you, D-Great. 
yeah well that's definitely dude andre that's definitely not gonna help the market right now um you know i've still yet to find the time or the effort to even want to read that whole infrastructure package with the crypto stuff in it i do need to take some time to uh, get off here and actually go do that reading and kind of break down what what we see in there but uh i want to take a further look into uh that bear um that uh stuff he introduced phantom one shot says phantom is uh is going to rip soon next off mana and sand need a little help uh with btc though ftm dude and you know guys i've been talking about it i haven't done it ftm man i really want to get some where is it at i gotta see where it's at i've been talking about it been talking about it i never picked me up any yet uh phantom crypto oh this might be my chance man down 13.77 percent on a day uh it's been a hard downtrend the whole week with the rest of the market um definitely 100 percent uh good call one shot this is gonna be my chance to pick up some phantom and i don't even care if it dips a little bit lower um you could possibly see 132 hmm it is at 188 right now it just moved up still down quite a bit though but you're setting a uh, higher lows man very slightly higher lows on this thing and i don't want to pull it over here and blind y'all hope y'all just if you look at the chart you're setting higher lows off the day off the one day so I might look to pick me up some, uh, 100%. I really appreciate that, man. I've been wanting to pick up Phantom for a while. I missed the last rip on it. I'm not gonna miss the next one. So yes, the options, uh, OMG sent us that. Uh, let me pull that up. Give me one second. So here's why bears hope to pin Bitcoin under 60K ahead of Friday's 1.1 billion options expiry. Uh, Bitcoin bulls were euphoric when the price uh, soared to 69,000 on November 10th because of the 14 and a half percent gain accumulated over five days meant that they were uh, in for a $715 million profit for November 12th exp expiry. Uh, however, the 9% negative price movement from November 16th caught bulls by surprise especially since most of the call buy options for November 19th had been placed at 66,000 or higher. Uh, curiously, that price level has been exception rather than the norm. Bears might have uh, been lucky because the two negative events happened in the past few days. On November 12th, the United States SEC denied Banex spot Bitcoin ETF, which we covered that and we talked about that possibly, you know, maybe I underplayed it at right after because Bitcoin held up at 64 but that uh to, in my opinion really kind of started this whole fiasco we're seeing right here but but more than uh important than that rejection itself we uh, which was expected uh the sec uh mentioned that uncertainties about tethers usd stablecoin and lack of ability to deter fraud and market manipulation in bitcoin trading uh, bloomberg's senior etf analyst and cryptocurrency expert has already given a 1% chance for approval, so the de denial really wasn't a surprise. Moreover, on November 15th, President Joe Biden sanctioned the infrastructure, which mandates uh, this, that starting in 2024, I read this, and I did want to tell you all this. This is, you know, years away, digital asset transactions worth more than 10,000 will be reported to the Internal Revenue Service, uh, which that could be a FUD material in itself, but dude, come on, man, that's that's, you know, you talking next bull cycle so they're already prepping for the next bull cycle i think there's going to be some pretty heavy regulations for the next one uh considering the above scenarios bulls are likely to regret that lack of more conservative bets for november 19th uh 1.1 billion weekly option expiry uh at first sight the 630 million call options uh dominate the weekly expired by 35 percent compared to the 470 million put sales uh still at one to three five call ratio for example 
If Bitcoin's price remains below 62,000 at 8 a.m. on November 19th, only 68 million worth of those uh, buy options will be available for expiry. For example, uh, there's no value in the right to buy Bitcoin at 64,000 if it's trading below that price. So bears have their eyes set on prices below 60K. Between 58 and 60, uh, you got 10 calls versus 3,840 puts. Let me hit this super chat real quick. One shot GT. That dude's coming in hot. Thank you. Thank you very much. One shot GT. Where's my air horn? Where the air horn? Thank you very much. One shot GT for those two back to back super chat attacks. Thank you. Thank you very much, my man, for making this little kid dance on my screen and showing that love and support, my dude. Let me get back to uh, between 60,000 and 62. There's 910 calls versus 1,950 puts. The result is a 60 million favoring the puts. Between 62 and 64, there's Man, way more calls. The Bears are actually going to win on this one. It looks like. Uh, let me see. Man, it could get interesting. Could get interesting. So t tomorrow's the 19th. The expiry is tomorrow. Will the whales fight back? They could start pumping Bitcoin um, pretty soon. So we are starting to break this top right here. Uh, we are seeing a little rejection at these tops right here. If we can blast past that, that would be very good news. Uh, head up to that 200, ex, uh, 200 exponential moving average right here. So we'll keep an eye on Bitcoin for a few minutes. But way more puts than calls for the expiry tomorrow. So we'll have to see kind of what happens. But, uh, you know, if we can definitely start moving in the right direction, get some uh, whales buying in. Um, we'll see what happens. Let me pull this up, get back to the chat. Jonathan K uh, was reading crypto tax doesn't go into effect till next year. The crypto section bill will be revised. Yeah, we'll have to see what happens with that. Let's see this real quick. Let me get back to the chat. Quesadilla, what are futures? I hear about them, but I don't really know what they are. Uh, futures uh, trading is a contract between a buyer basically looking to invest and a seller and where the contract is made for the futures. Uh, it basically has an expiration date. Um, let me see. Why is this glitching? Let me know if I'm glitching out right now. OBS is kind of doing some crazy stuff on my end. But you can trade all kind of different future stuff, man. You can trade commodities, stock indexes, uh, US Treasury bonds, all kind of stuff, man. I don't usually mess with that. I just invest in crypto right now. I buy stocks and, and you know, a little bit of stocks and crypto, mostly crypto mining stocks. Uh, Bitcoin should pump soon, man. If it's ripping, this is a temporary dip. I, I agree, Robert Dean. I do think uh, we're getting close to that time where we're going to start pumping. Uh, I'm expecting, you know, after reading that, uh, after reading that exp expiration off the uh, call options tomorrow, I think the whales show up for a fight, man. I think the the bulls are gonna show up and try to push the price back up, which they can, man. They 100% can. 
I feel like tomorrow is the last day of the dip. I think so too, uh, Pearl. We'll see what happens, man. Like I said, uh, the expiration, the whales show up. It could be a fight, man. It's been a hard week. I'm going through, uh, going to head to sleep. But uh, hey, later, uh, D Grade. Thank you, man, for tuning in. There's 500 million expiring on Ethereum also tomorrow. Uh, do you know the price, uh, OMG? If not, I can look it up. Cruz is the champion of Bitcoin. Break out the war horn. Let's go. Bitcoin's starting to move up here. Good sign. Possibly heading for that 50. If we get over this uh, little area right here, which is uh, 56.233. So I might start pumping here shortly. Adam e says to me, this is just a correction until proven otherwise. Just my opinion. Yeah, man. I mean, what goes up? Got to come down. It's got to come down eventually, my man. And, uh, you know, it's all up from here, I think. You know, I think it has a, maybe a little bit more to go. Uh, you might see, you know, that 54. But hopefully this is bottom. Hopefully we're sitting on bottom. I feel pretty good about it. I'm about to pick up some FTM, Jasmine, and uh, Gala. Those are the three cryptos I will be picking up. Possibly as soon as I hop off the live stream tonight. I mean, uh, they're all down pretty significant. And uh, they're looking like some pretty good buys at this time right now. So, like I said, OMG just set up that uh, room in the Discord. So... Feel free, any purchases you do, uh, make sure to hop in there. At least let the gang know about it. That way we don't miss out on no good buying opportunities. Ooh, Beto style. What's happening, man? What's up, Yanni? I think XRP is gauging the market right now. And, you know, I'll go out there and say it, my man. I've been following XRP for quite some time, for months, actually. Um, every time XRP gets to 130, one freaking 30, breaks it, the market crashes. It corrects. Three times in a row, uh, it, it has done that. Uh, one time we went to 99. Next, we went to 95. No, I'm sorry, 99. We went to 85. And then we went to uh, 97, I believe it was. And every time we went back to 130. So I'm gauging, I'm gauging the market off of XRP, not Bitcoin right now. I know that sounds crazy, but it's true, man. Every time XRP breaks that 130 range, uh, and I just said that earlier, uh, XRP at 103, absolutely wonderful buy, man. Uh, and if you're worried about it, dipping a little bit lower, dollar cost average in, you could pick it up on KuCoin, swap it for uh, USDT, great freaking buy right there dude uh i think you can trade back to 130 all day so um there he is clown baby think speaking of crypto mining stocks beto uh what's up matt uh can you recommend some crypto mining stocks dude i can recommend you the best crypto mining stocks in the market my dude uh let's check out hud 8 mining see where that thing is at got a couple other ones to look at I wish you'd have been around a little bit beforehand, man. We were picking Hut 8 mining up thanks to OMG and a couple other people in here like Clown Baby uh, for BITF. You know, you could have picked up some crypto mining stocks pretty freaking cheap. But we were picking this up around 7 bucks. Yeah, it hit a high. What was the high off this thing? 16? 16.56. So uh, you are below that 200 Depending on what Bitcoin does, this is greatly going to affect it. I think you're just getting some pretty good buying opportunities here. You have decent support at 12 bucks. I think if you see 12 bucks on HUT, uh, that might line up to what I'm thinking about Bitcoin possibly dipping a little bit more before it takes off again. Um, so I think if you see that range around 12 bucks, I would pick up some HUT. Uh, let's see BITF. What's that thing doing today? So wait, wait, wait. I didn't go over. HUT was down 7% today. Uh, pretty much 8% across the board. It ended at 12.45 in the aftermarket hours. Uh, BITF. Let's see where we at. Uh, down 9%. Uh, definitely getting hit too as well. Uh, let's throw this up right here. Uh, you're sitting on support right here. So I did have some lines pop at 750. 
and you closed at 753 so a drop below that uh you got strong support at six uh around 670 and then below that you know everything always goes back to touch the 200 exponential moving average i don't care what you, what you're trading what you're doing it's going to go back and touch at some point in time and that is currently sitting at five dollars 33 36 cents so absolute uh goodbye bitf could quite possibly coming up that hit a high of uh 935 and that was on uh you know not that long ago uh actually la uh, seven days ago so still bullish on bitf hut man um where's riot at today riot's another one down 4.68 percent mar has a little bit more crap with him uh, you know actually up today so uh you know they tried to raise some funds to pick up what 500 million worth of bitcoin but then they had an investigation from this uh it's it's a mess it's a mess over there mar i would kind of stay away from it even though it could possibly lead you to some pretty good attendees i would stay away from mar and look to buy that hut it's cheaper anyway hut's cheaper bitf i mean it's a it's a great stock uh in my opinion to hop into uh especially with the the discounts that we're seeing across the board right now so let me see What's up, Skydive? What's happening? Hey, thanks for tuning in. Good to see you in the chat. Look at that link. Let's pull up some link on the on the big chart right here. So uh, link looking to test support right here at uh where is that? It's at 2678. You got pretty good support at 26 right here. So I'm going to go ahead and pop that right there. Twenty six oh six. You hit 2590. Bounce right back. Uh, break below that area right there. Uh, 2350 is your next uh, possible stopping point over here. At that bottom. Point three fifty, and then you got some resistance uh, heading back off your moving averages. I would watch those, uh, you know, thirty bucks and then uh, thirty four. So pretty even numbers on the way back up for Chainlink, but uh, you know, it's looking pretty decent. That RSI is looking like it wants to hook. Might be a good buying opportunity. You might be able to ride that thing back up to thirty five, maybe even thirty eight if everything starts pumping the way we, we think it might happen here shortly. Uh, let me check out um, where's V chain at 15 cents let's see whoa V chains at 12 cents man okay so V chain uh, will it back end up back around 11 10 cents off this dip Possibly you you have you having a little double bottom set up right here, and it really needs to bounce right here. If it doesn't, you're gonna fall back. Um, that 11 10 cent range, you know, you're close to the 13 cents, so uh, it might have a little bit more room to drop off V chain. But uh, V chain is a very good play, man. Uh, I will have a stay that will absolutely run. So just keep that in mind. Um. Thanks for the info. Hey, anytime, Yanni, man. Uh, thank you for subscribing, being a part of the community, man. Hope you're in the uh, Discord, too, as well. Clown Baby says, best crypto mining stocks right now, in my opinion, are BITF and HUT. I would have to second that, my man. Looking to uh, Trias, it's down. Good amount for the dip. Great time to buy, in my opinion. Let me pull it up. Quesadilla. Fourteen dollars and fifty-five cents past twenty-four hours. It's been a pretty good dip, down seventeen percent today. Uh, past fourteen days, it's been a pretty good downtrend. You topped out uh, about November seventh. Been a pretty hard downtrend. Uh, you did. You got pretty good support at fourteen at thirteen fifty. Uh, if I was looking to pick some up, 
I'd probably hop in around that 1350 range, my man. But I'll definitely keep an eye on it. Thank you for that. Oh, anytime, Beto. That's what I'm here for, my man. I'm here to help. Yeah, also look at Can, too. Can's another good one. You bought some more Phantom. Rick, don't do it to me. Don't make me do it on the live stream, man. Because I'll do it. And it's going to drop. Phantom. Where's it Where's it at? I'm fully convinced one shot's a whale, and he went and bought a bunch of Phantom up. Let's see what it's doing. 189. If it gets rejected at uh, this 190, I will pick some up off this dip. At 190, I will pick me up some off the dip wherever it ends up at. Fine, baby. Says I got both BITF and Beto. BITF and HUD. <laughs> All right, let me pull this up real quick. Let me pause this. All right. Robert Dean says we have broken that 30 like mark, guys. Let's smash it to 40. Anyone new to the channel, smash the like button and subscribe. Yeah, guys, if y'all could, I'd appreciate it. You don't have to. If you just want to show up here and listen to me talk, that's cool too. But thank you guys for tuning in tonight. Really greatly, greatly appreciate it. So we got some green popping up on the screen. Sushi, I uh, actually started putting down on the screen $8.90. XLM, uh, still up 2%, 33. Look at Bat retesting that $1 range. Uh, Uniswap protocol, another one uh, I'm possibly looking uh, could have a pretty good run up here shortly. Uh, Uniswap is definitely should be on everybody's uh, radar. We got Luna, 40 bucks, not too bad. Uh, Chainlink, 26.79. We just touched base on Link. Uh, might be a good dip buy opportunity off of Link right here. Just depending on what the market does. Uh, how about Cordano, guys? 178. There is nothing with the ecosystem that is. Uh, having reactions with cordano man it has nothing and it's just bleeding accordingly uh, i mean i'm sure it's down what 30 percent in the month of november the november to remember after the you know pumptober the month of october that we had so man ada she's it's, it's killing me it's killing me you know uh getting closer to uh you know i bought some at 160 uh I bought most of it at one dollar, but I bought some more at 160. So it's getting close to that range right there. So I'm watching it. Uh, Ethereum Classic, uh, another good play right here. 48 bucks. I don't think you can go wrong with Ethereum Classic. I might look to add up some more Ethereum Classic to my portfolio. And then Matic, uh, briefly jumping above 150. Um, so having a little pump across the market. I think the best buying you might be able to wait for a little pullback here. You're starting to see some green pump in. Ethereum 4,038. You know, trying to work its way back up. Uh, this might be a good dip by opportunity on Ethereum too, guys. If if you have some uh, pretty good cash laying on the side, I would possibly look at buying some Ethereum up. Um, Litecoin 205 working its way. Solana 195. We got Bitcoin coming in hot at 56141. So let me pop that right here. Fifty-five, six fifty was the low right there off that uh, four hour. Let's watch it off that one man. So yep, we are creeping at two hundred. That would be if we get a break over that two hundred. That would be a little bit more bullish uh, sentiment stepping in, especially with them call options expiring tomorrow. I think that's going to be a big deal, and uh, you know that's going to be a tall tale sign about what's actually happening. Uh, are the bulls in control or the bears? Because right now the bears are winning. Uh, Robert Dean dropping that discord. Yep. Make sure you check that out too as well. What's up, Lori? I just got here Well, Lori, hey, thank you. Thank you first and foremost um, First and foremost, welcome to Mass Market. Thank you for hitting that subscribe button. I greatly greatly appreciate it. Welcome to the family uh I'm hoping, like part of me hopes this is the bottom. This is the absolute bottom where we're sitting at. Uh, I was telling people the other day, 56, 57. 
I didn't stream last night. Um, you know, it was doing pretty bad. I, I had so much going on, guys. So I really apologize about that. But, you know, um, part of me thinks, like, if it would continue dropping, I don't think it's much lower. So, like, right now would be the time for me, like, if I'm buying stuff up, I'm going to start dollar cost averaging in. And that's just saying, hey, if I got 300 bucks, I'll take 100 bucks here. I'll buy some. Bam. I'll pick, an, uh, pick XRP, one of them. Uh, put 100 bucks. I'll watch it for a day or two. Okay, it's moving. It's going down a little bit. Boom, I'll drop 50 more bucks or 100 more bucks. I dollar cost average in to try to get the best price. Uh, that way you don't buy in, have it drop out from under you, and you're stuck. You can't even uh, average down to uh, hop back in. But Bitcoin right here is starting to rock right here. 56,233, getting some pretty good tops moving around. Uh, it's looking more bullish uh, than what we've seen uh, right here. Uh, it's actually starting to break this top right here. Might get a hard push for that 200 right here. So we'll see what happens. Ethereum is uh, being shorted to keep it under 4,100. Needs some bulls to come fight. And that's what I'm saying, OMG. We'll see tomorrow what actually happens. If, uh, you know, all them bulls that got all them call options come out and really start swinging the prices up. You know, uh, I thought this whole thing right here, this whole setup that we're seeing right now was actually a 100% bear trap. It was in my video I posted from the other night. I think this whole setup is just one big major bear trap, guys. And, uh, you know, I'm a long-term bull, you know, so I'm a little biased, but I think you're setting up for a major bull trap and it will be off to the races. Maybe plan B, B is off, you know, two weeks, but will you really be mad if plan B is only off till mid-December with that 100K price prediction? I'm not going to be mad. You know, this is just giving you great buying opportunities across the board. I mean, everything's on sale. Everything is on a fire sale right now. Matic, ride it back up to two bucks. XRP back to 130 all day. Cordano, ride it back to 215. I mean, it's just algo. What about algo? Like nobody was watching algo. I didn't like even like algo when it came out and I was completely wrong about it. And I'll tell you on the mic, algo ran 40% yesterday before seeing some pullback. So um, my, my positions may be changing on algo. I don't currently own any, but uh, you know, it's looking more and more like a decent project. I didn't like it for the bare fact of the staking whole program they came out with. They were offering this insane amount of APY to stake your algo. When they first came out, it was like, uh, I think they were offering 75% APY or something. And then they, they, the, they changed the tune and brought it to 35. 35 is a little bit more believable. Man, that's still a lot. So it kind of struck me as a BitConnect deal. So I didn't quite mess with it. But I'll go uh, looking more and more solid every day that I look at it. So, uh, yeah, market's starting to pump. 206 Litecoin, AVAX 9962. Um, who's making this little... Uh, what's up, Finch? Thank you, man. Welcome to Mass Market, dude. Thank you for making this little cat dance upon my screen, my dude. Um, so, yeah, market's making a little comeback right now. Solana uh, climbing up 196, trying to turn green. Uh, Ethereum busting 4051. 4, uh, Whales watching the chart. They're watching that 50, uh, that 200 exponential right here very closely. So we'll see uh, who's up for the fight tonight. We'll see if the Bulls are in control tonight and uh, start pushing around the tops to uh, possibly... You know, get more of them call options in the money off of crypto. So uh, I think, you know, with that many call options, uh, that could potentially cause, you know, a little bit of uh, some squeezing action going on, on off of Bitcoin. You know, if we get enough volume stepping in, enough calls expiring in the money, we'll see what happens. Thanks, Matt. You're awesome. Appreciate you. Hey, no, thank you. Thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And we tend to go live, uh, Lori, uh, every night. Uh, I didn't do it last night. I need a break. I was absolutely exhausted, but uh, you can always find us here pretty much 8.30 p.m. Central, 9 p.m. Uh, we, we tend to go live stream every night. Watch uh, KZR. Uh, could be a good buy. Let me replace this. KZR $13.25 KZR is up uh, briefly today 3% let me go with the 30 minute chart yeah potential double uh, double bottom right here off of that uh, wait no that's not even it sorry 
Good thing I caught that before I started doing some TA off of something that ain't even it. Um, let's go to five minutes. You got really strong support around 1235. It pumped to 1435. Uh, did get rejected this top right here. So you're trading sideways. Uh, yeah, I'll keep watching it. Because if it has a move to the upside, is that the all-time high on this thing? 1435. It pumped to nine bucks back in 2020. Okay, here we go. We got some more higher tops over here. 36 bucks. I like it. Yeah, move to the upside. Um, you got really a lot of resistance around that 1920 range, so that's good to know. Um, cool. I'll keep my eye on it. Thank you very much, OMG, for dropping that. Let me get back to that one minute off of Bitcoin right here. And we're gearing up for that 200 exponential retest. Let's see what happens here. Next couple one minute candles. Uh, Bulldog says I left. It was red. I come back, it was green. Crypto is beautiful, isn't it, my man? Bulldog, if you want to come up, man, uh, you're more than welcome. Just get at me, dude. Let me know. Beetle style algo is going uh, going good. I got uh, JJ early and staked it. So, uh, oh, you got in early and staked it. So did you get the uh, whole deal with the 35% APY, man? If you did, let me know. Let me know how that's going for you. Beto, you could, uh, I'd appreciate if you keep me up to date with how that staking is going. Uh, I'll go, had a big partnership in Asia announcement last night, but uh, the spike didn't hold. And you come to find that, dude, when you have these big bumps in the, you know, any, any security in the crypto market, you know, it's going to rip. You sell the rip and buy the dip on it, man. Huge spike, huge dip. People taking profits off of it, man. But uh, from what I was reading, uh, that staking of algo, you cannot, uh, I, you know, it's pretty much stuck in there for that 35% until February, I believe it is. So that's what strayed me away from it. I was like, you know, if we do see a big dump beginning of the year into February and you get stuck with it, it just, it was striking me like BitConnect. That's that's all. I don't know why. I just got that feeling when I heard about it. I started doing some research in it, uh, you know, a couple months ago. But uh, it's growing on me. It is. Um, same thing with Shiba. I didn't like Shiba when it first came out. And I'm still holding some Shiba off this dip. But, you know, it is what it is, man. I'm not going to be come up here and be a... Uh, Tell y'all to buy something I'm not holding, you know. I wouldn't do that. So right now we got Bitcoin 56118. Doge coming in hot, 22 cents. Looking like some pretty good buying. Let's do some uh TA on some Dogecoin real quick. You know, we love some Dogecoin over here at Mass Market. Started with it. We started from the bottom. And this is where we we here. All right, let me pull this up. This is not it. This is dog. <laughs> dog stock. Lots and lots and lots of TA we have done over the months, man. Look at this. This is just. I feel like just erasing all of this, to be quite honest with you. Uh, I really do. This looks exactly like the Bitcoin chart. Uh, just the way it's fallen. Double bottom fallout. Double bottom little fallout. Um. Let's get right here to the five minute. Actually, let's go to that one minute. It should be uh, just crossed on the one minute over that uh, 50 and that 200. You got that 50 crossing over the 200 exponential. The 14 is starting to flatline above that level of support, uh, which should now be 22 cents. So if we can stay above 22, I would say 22 is a damn good buy, man. I mean, 22 cents per doge. You know, the other day we were talking about 27, 26. That's a damn good buy. 22 is extremely good buy. Um, yeah, that's why, you know, through these dips, if you're a long-term investor, you ju you'll, you'll keep adding throughout the dips. You know, you don't want to buy when Dogecoin's at 30 cents right now because it's not having these major run-ups like it was back in the beginning of the year. Not yet. 
it's not done with for the year. I do expect a pretty good pump uh, on Doge. And look, if it doesn't happen this year, you still have Doge X. You have a lot of great stuff coming in the beginning of next year. But um, I'm still hoping for that big pump before uh, the end of the year across the whole market. Uh, I think Bitcoin is going to run up, you know, touch 100K. And, uh, you know, we're not seeing it quite yet, but uh, who knows? Oh, you staked it on Coinbase for 4%. I did not know about the 35 percent yeah so you had to actually have the algo wallet uh you had to download it and uh you could stake it there for the 35 percent but you would it would be stuck in there you could not move it yes uh omg i did i, I watched the videos um so basically everybody there's a program on kucoin to where you can go in there and you can lend out your crypto for seven days 14 days any 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 pretty much period of time and you can earn you know interest off of that i'm not doing it but if that's an avenue that y'all want to actually try out uh i can dump i can go head first into it and tell you all about it uh i haven't personally done it but it is a program and uh you can earn some pretty good money uh, off the interest for loaning out your cryptocurrencies on KuCoin. So, if you're a long-term holder, if you're not staking, maybe look at uh, you know loaning out your crypto, and uh, you know earning something off of it. You know why you, why you just sitting here holding it. But thank you for reminding me of that OMG. No, I did not. Uh, I haven't done anything with it yet. Uh, part of me is. Uh, I don't know. I might look to stake some more of my crypto, but I will give it a try. Uh, I'm all for it. I'll definitely try it. And um, I'll tell you what, I'll try it and I'll let y'all know. I'll let y'all know how it goes. I'll tell you how much I put in, how much interest I actually uh, obtained from lending it out and how long I did it for. So I'll look into doing that. A dollar cost average my Doge uh, into 24s. Could have it uh got it lower today but you never know where the bottom is 100 turbo fire man i think you're sitting fine man uh 24 cents you know i didn't bought doge at 24 cents man i think it's uh i think you did good right there man i wouldn't be too much more concerned about it yes i don't like uh my money stuck me either man uh that's the whole thing with the ethereum 2.0 that's why I was kind of lining up the bull market till February because I think when a lot of people get that Ethereum 2.0 released, um, either it's going to pump or it's going to dump. It's going to be one of those type things because uh, those, those people are going to have their money tied up for so long, they're going to want to you know start to sell out. So, I'm at least I would you know, um, depending on the market, you know, we'll have to see how it goes. Uh, thoughts based on your analysis how long do you think bitcoin will go and should we be buying tonight or wait till tomorrow uh Lori, I, honestly um bitcoin at 56 is great and all but i'm just i'm me personally i'm not convinced quite yet that we've reached bottom and we're starting to take off from from that bottom range um why wow, this little pump is good yeah i, I like it uh, from that low of 55.6 a rejection at this uh, 200 exponential if you drop below 56 again which uh, you know it might let's see if we hold that 56 I need to part uh, mark that as support so like if you're watching the charts and uh, like I do throughout the day and you see that break below 56 right here you're most likely going to hit either 55.8 or 55.6, maybe a double bottom retest. And that's what Bitcoin, the trend has been doing every night. Like you hit a bottom right here, you go right here and you fall out. D little double bottom action. So I don't know if it's setting up for maybe a pretty good little pump here and then come back down into tomorrow and then fall out again. So that's what I'm waiting for. I want to see if we confirm that uh, a confirmation to me that we've broken out of this trend is when we break back above 57.5. And I know that's, you know, quite a bit away, but even a break, a rejection right here at 57 is going to be tough. 
I break above 57, I will be a lot more convinced. I'll tell you that right now. 57, I'll be a lot more convinced. 57.5, I'm FOMOing. That's FOMO territory for me. I think we're starting to break. Break out, you get the uh, a true breakout above 57.5. So, um, what's up, G? Why crypto dipping, still holding strong though? Uh, just a lot of foot in the market, man. Uh, we definitely got some action going on tomorrow. We got a lot of options expiring. Uh, I think it's going to be a whale fight, whale war going on tomorrow. So here we go, guys. We're gearing up for that one-minute retest of the 200 exponential. Let's see what happens here. Two, uh, 56, 226. If we do get this break above 56, 274, um, look a little bit better. I feel a little bit better. Yep, Jay, we got great buying uh, opportunities across the board, my man. Everything's on the, the cheap Yeah, OMG, uh, perfect example, OMG. Uh, thank you for reiterating that. That if you, uh, Lori, if you uh, if you think it'll dip a little bit more, just save a little bit. Don't invest everything you're looking to throw into one uh, security. You know, if it dips tomorrow night, save a little bit, enough to get out. You know, I'd put maybe 30% in. Do 30, 30, and 30. And then, you know, you, if you want to get out, after that second 30, you throw 40 in it. You try to get out pretty clean. And no harm done, you know. Uh, looking to get rejected right here at this 200. So let's see what happens. Um, let's see who's in control right here. We just got the retest. Green. Uh, the green's starting to fill up the chart. So it looks good. Uh, Gala is my new new buy along with Link and Dot. Hey, those are all great opportunities, man. I like the Dot. I like the Gala. I just said tonight I'm going to be buying Jasmine, Gala, and um oh shit i forgot the other one because bitcoin is sitting here about to break this 200 exponential right here 56 319 let's get some buying action let's get the bulls back in control right here man that looks like a little decent candle right there uh it was gala jasmine and something else um might have been pbr i'm looking at pbr pretty good um Crypto is the long-term game. You already know, Jay. 100%, man. Uh, starting to get a pretty good break, man. 56.358. This is way more bullish than what we've been seeing. So definitely like to see this right here. Let's get another one-minute green candle confirming that we're going to keep pushing these tops around. So there we go. We got the whales going at it right here off this exponential. No surprise. Hey guys, give me one second. I'm gonna go refill my cup. If y'all can hang tight, man, I'm gonna rock for a little bit longer tonight. Just give me a few minutes. I'm gonna go refill my drink and I'll be right back. Uh, you know what happens when I step away. I want this break to happen. So give me a few seconds. I'll be right back.
All right, sorry. I had to close the door because I was about to get fucking loud, dude. Look at this. That's what happens when I walk away. This shit starts pumping, baby. I like it. Uh, Bitcoin 56369, top of uh, of that one-minute candle right here. So looking good. What's up, uh, Lollipop? How you doing, man? Good to see you in the chat, my man. Great to have you here, man. Give me one second, I gotta answer this. what's going on hc2 bruh always showing that love man gotta give y'all proper gotta give y'all proper gotta give y'all proper super chat shout out super chat shout out super chat shout out HC2. HC2, that dude HC2. with that the 999. Dude. Super chat, my man. Much, much appreciated, HC. Make sure you get with me too, man. Uh, I do want to do a meet and greet with everybody. We'll try to schedule something out, man. I think that's going to be a cool thing to do. But thank you. Thank you very much for supporting the stream with that 999. Super chat, my man. You are much, much appreciated, dude love having y'all and you and everybody here always helping support the community really appreciate it omg said but whales versus bear whales fight coming the fight is incoming they're trying to retest that 200 we got a lot more green popping up on the screen right now which we love to see love to see it Uh, love mass market family. Thanks for all the insight. Uh, Y'all are great and so helpful. Oh, thank you, Lori, and welcome to the family. 100% uh, greatly appreciate 
your support and look forward to seeing you around the community as well. Make sure you hop in that Discord too. We're always in there. Uh, I'm always available. You can always message me and uh, give me direct. But thank you, thank you very much for joining the community. Really appreciate it. So Bitcoin looking a little bit better on the one minute chart right now. We are uh, hooking past that 200 exponential. We got that 50 uh, chasing up behind it. That RSI is starting to hook right here. We could have another little pump possibly to start pushing that 369 uh, top around right here. That'd be a very good, uh, very good thing to see. So let's hopefully we uh, continue heading up right now. That's what I'm hoping for. And maybe, just maybe, a glimmer of hope that that 55, 650 range was absolutely the bottom before we rip back up to that 70K range. I'm a little skeptical. Uh, once I start seeing that 57.5, I think you'll get some FOMO kick in. A break, a, a solid break above 57.5, and that would be a, I would have to say a four-hour candle above that 57.5. I think we're back on track. But as of right now, I'm still not 100% convinced. I hope I hope it's uh, you know starting to he head back in the right direction. But we're only down 1% today. That's not a bad day. Really not freaking bad at all. So um, I can live with that. Everything else starting to pump up 1%, 2%. So it's looking good across the market, guys. One shot redeeming that Bitcoin. You already know what time it is. Let's hope this is the bottom, my man. Uh, one shot's been preaching to me about this PBR. Um, let me pull up the PBR chart. Uh, Phantom. Phantom. That was it. Jasmine, Gala, and Phantom. That's the three that I'm looking to pick up right now. Um, I do have Sandbox and Mana. I'm already have my plays established. So uh, keep that in mind. Uh, but I don't think they're done with. I, I just wouldn't be purchasing Mana right this second, y'all. Um, if you're looking to get in. I think 350, three, around 350 ish is going to be your best uh, buying opportunity off of uh, mana right now. Uh, let me see this. Um, PBR. So PBR is currently sitting at $2.38. It is down 18% today. Uh, that's Poker Bridge. Uh, once Polkadot starts, uh, it, you know, doing its thing, which I do think, uh, where's Polkadot? Um, I move much. I move. I added all these tickers right here. Uh, where's Polka? Polka, Polka. I don't have it up here. Oh, I, I changed it for that. P O L K. Polkadot, thirty nine dollars. Uh, down four percent. Heavy red on it for the day. Um, once Polkadot starts ripping, which could be a possible uh 100 to 200 percent move on it coming up here in the next month or two uh man now uh, pbr is gonna move pretty good it got listed on uh kucoin the other day i do like it uh it is a little bit more expensive 238 but i do think it has great potential uh, i came from uh you know pretty much uh that 60 cent range to two bucks and i think it has a pretty good uh, another move in the tank for it so i definitely would be watching it uh, I have some uh, store J coin. Uh, we looked at that before. I never got into it. Store J coin. Where is it at? It's up 10%, $1.94. Um, where does this operate off of? Uh, it's a Ethereum token. Okay. It is up 10% on a day. The volume on it is actually up 391%. That is something to look at. You have to watch that volume, see where uh, you know most of the trading is taking place, and people are buying into Store J. Um, it hit a high of two dollars and thirty-eight cents on the eighteenth. What? Well, that thing pumped. Well, it's still sitting at one ninety-two, but did have a pretty good pump. I mean, right before that pump, you could have been picking up around one fifty, one one sixty. Uh, let's check the month ago. Uh, a month ago is a dollar twenty-five. You could have got it as low as one thirteen. Um, I like it. Yeah, it looks good. I think it'll treat you really well long term. Uh, Turbo says I love that PBR. Uh, Turbo, do you have some PBR? Let me know in the chat, my man.
So uh, Bitcoin is looking a little bit better right now. Um, a little bit more bullish. I wanted to see it break this top right here. Let's see where we got rejected. We got rejected at these little tops right here. Um, I think it's back on the uptrend right here. It might be a little reversal right here. Um, like I said, I'm not going to be too convinced until we start breaking that this top right here. 57,000. I'll feel a lot better about the market once we get that 57 and then that ultimate 57.5 up here. So that's what I'm looking for. Wait, Moon, dropping that split coin. We know my boy Win doesn't like Bitcoin, but you still my dude. I support you 100%, my man. The only reason um, Bitcoin is affecting the whole market right now, and we're currently waiting for Doge to uh, really start pumping here. And I think it's going to take Bitcoin doing this thing in the uh, short term to really get Dogecoin moving, man. Dogecoin's been getting... Uh, what was the low off this dip off of Doge? Uh, 21.65. Um, you know, Doge is looking better. It really is. Uh, mimicking Bitcoin to a T right now. Double bottom coming up instead of double bottom falling out. You see this? We had that double bottom here and here. It came up and then fell out again. Double bottom came up. Didn't fall out. It might be breaking trend right here, but uh, I won't be convinced on Doge. Let's pull this up. Let me make this a little bit wider. Let me go to the five minute. I won't be convinced that's bottom on Doge until we start breaking back above uh, 2260. And then uh, 2280. Let's go with these tops right here. A solid break above that. I think we're back on the uptrend. And that would be the reversal from the bottom of this dip that we've been seeing, man. So Doge... Uh, might not have been a bad buy at 21 today, 21.65. That might have been the bottom. Uh, it's not confirmed yet, in my opinion, but it is looking more and more uh, like that could have been a pretty good uh, dip buy opportunity right there. Blue ribbon. <laughs> Doge took a crap because he didn't uh, root for the granddaddy. So guys, 57.5 is what I'm looking for uh, to signal a reversal for the crypto market. Um, so what are the coins I'm looking at to buy? Uh, PBR, Gala, and Jasmine. And Phantom. Uh, gotta, can't forget about Phantom. Phantom was on a pretty good dip today. I do think you can make some pretty good money uh, picking up some Phantom at these pretty cheap prices. It is down, what was it? 20% um, today? It is on the move. So, Rick, if you pick some up, it is on the move, man. 192. It was at 188 when we checked it earlier. It is now down only 10% on the day. So, definitely starting to make its way back up. I'm not going to miss it this time. I'm going to pick me up some Phantom. I'm going to add some more Jasmine. I'm going to start dollar cost averaging in, man, because I think we're really, really extremely close to the bottom of uh, these dips right here. So, just my personal opinion. And I'm going to invest like I believe what I'm telling y'all. And that is true, man. I do think we're very, very close. I don't think uh, we have that much more to go. And hopefully 2165 was the bottom for Doge. That's what I'm really hoping for. So guys, do y'all have any more cryptos or stocks that you want to go over? Y'all drop in the comment section below. We'd love to hear them. And it'll be rocking for about another 15 minutes. And then I'm going to look to get some sleep uh, because we got the weekend coming up. We got a big Friday tomorrow night. Uh, hopefully, you know, this is bottom and we can report some much higher crypto prices this weekend. Have a big pump weekend going on. Fan of moving. I got it. I'm glad you picked some up, Rick. I, I really am, dude. I do not personally buy on the live stream because I get wrecked. You can ask anybody that's been rocking with me. So uh, you already know HC throwing up that thumbs up. ZEC. Let's check out some ZEC, my man. Uh, HC, do you have some uh, Zcash or what, man? 
it is on a pretty nice little uh, uptrend right there. Had a pretty good pump from the 10th, and then, you know, kind of sold off between the 16th and the 18th. But it is working its way back up. Uh, three month. It kind of has a, a little double bottom, maybe 171. Uh, no, 158 right there. You might be seeing a little double bottom action going on and possibly looking to, to shoot up from there. And it just hit, what was it, uh, 213? So the all-time high on this thing was back in May. That was 317. Actually, right when it came out, it's showing uh, briefly uh, what it looks like 1600. But I don't, I can't confirm that off of Coin Market Cap right here. Yep, no, it's showing it. 1333 is what they're showing me. So uh, I would definitely be holding it long term. Let me know if you got any, man. It's looking pretty, uh, pretty decent as of late, man. Like it's on a slight little uptrend even through this big dip. I mean, it did have the big pump up in May. And a pretty good pump uh, just now. But I, I still think it has a lot of room to grow to uh, possibly, you know, end up around above that 3400 mark before the end of the year, man. I'm good, man. I appreciate the good word. I'm going to check out the Lunar Eclipse. Later, man. Hope you have a good night, Turbo, man. Hope to check you tomorrow night. Uh, Phantom. Yes, Phantom is uh, starting to move, man. 191. It is uh, doing some pretty good stuff. I should have bought on the live stream, but you see, that's what happens. I don't do something that goes up. Uh, usually not when I'm on the live. Like, if I say, hey, I'm about to buy some Phantom with a drop to 170. Automatically. So, you know... I will pick up some more FTM or some FTM I never got in. That's going to be, uh, I think, a pretty good mover for the rest of the year. Gala, Jasmine. Uh, thank you, Rick. I made some good attendees off of Jasmine. I think it's about time to hop back in that thing. Uh, hopefully, this is bottom. If it is, any buy you make right here is going to be absolutely amazing because uh, we're going to get Bitcoin rocking back, start breaking that 70K level, which, uh, you know, we were looking for before we ended up uh, hitting that low where we're sitting at now. So, Guys, it was fun. I'm going to look to tune out of here. Um, it's already late. I had a blast, man, hanging out with y'all. HC, uh, one shot. Everybody that super chatted me tonight, thank y'all very much. Uh, everybody that tuned in uh, just came out here and showed support like you always do. Thank you. Thank you very much. If you got any ideas uh, that we can do to improve the channel, please uh, feel free to let me know in Discord. Uh, we absolutely love that we're, we're growing this community. And um, I'm just... You know blessed to be a part of it uh and be out here and be on camera and mike to report all these crypto prices to y'all and you know build the community up so like without y'all i'd be sitting here talking to myself so much much love much appreciate each and every one of y'all thank y'all for coming every night and supporting your boy uh we got some big things coming up here in the future and i can't wait to be a part of it with each and every one of y'all so with that being said i'm looking to tune out tonight guys i got a few things to uh to take care of but if you need me 100 hit me up in the discord hc hey much love brother hey thank you man for coming out showing that love tonight thank you rick everybody um we'll see y'all tomorrow night hopefully this is bottom i'm hoping fingers crossed that's what we want want to make some tennies this weekend let's get some freaking crypto party pumping this weekend start making some pretty good tennies so guys much love peace out this is matt signing off